What's up, Reason users? This is Montana Chill, aka Chad Strat, uh, doing another Reason 10 video tutorial for you. Uh, today I'm going to demo how you can do um, hip hop, trip hop, hop, um, formant shifted vocals, is uh, what I'm going to call it for lack of better terminology. Um, if you were able to find this, um, you're pretty crafty because I looked all over the uh, internet and YouTube to find examples of this and I couldn't find anything. So hopefully this helps you. It's a pretty cool effect. Um, you'll hear the likes of this uh, in some romplers like output exhale um, for uh, Native Instruments contact library. Um, it's it's pretty cool. It's not hard to do. You can do it with uh, what I'm going to show you here, just chopping a vocal and, and just applying it, copy and paste. Or you can actually just take an entire phrase or sing a chromatic scale and map that to a keyboard, you know, after you bounce it down, uh, applying these same effects. But it's sort of a multi-step process. I want to show you how to do it. Let's take a listen to what I'm talking about. <laughs> There you go. So I've got the sort of original vocal. Uh, this is my original vocal, by the way. Uh, yes, oh, that's me singing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so no big deal there. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to take this and we are going to do a number of things to this. We're going to shift the pitch. We're going to shift the formant. We're going to high pass filter, and then we're going to band pass filter. Um, sort of. So the first, let's just kind of go through this. I'm going to play this in loop. Oh, uh, uh, we're going to go from G sharp two to oh, G sharp uh, uh, three. Oh, uh, uh, oh. I'll leave that first bit just so you can hear. Next, we're oh, going to shift the formant. Okay, so formant is. What is formant? Formant is the tonality or the quality, the airiness of a note. So you can shift a formant down or up. I've actually shifted formant down in a hip hop vocal to get a more um, sort of uh, the, the big black guy, urban vocal, you know, just rich, deep, you know, palette in the vocal. Uh, and it sounded pretty decent. Um, Biggs as I live in Montana, not a lot of black folk up here, sadly. So could not find me. Also couldn't find a sax player. <laughs> There's that. So, um, but yeah, you can shift down, you can shift up. Um, and so a lot of times when you pitch shift, you can get chip monkey. A lot, formant is shifting your formant when you pitch shift is a way to avoid that. Now in this case, I only pitch shifted one oc octave. So I'm going to actually formant shift up because this is still oh. a little too... Oh low and airy. Oh. 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 I like that right there. So let's edit the other first part of that vocal. F sharp two, two, F sharp three, and form it shift six. There we go. Okay, that's step one. So there we go. We did a pitch shift by one octave. We did a form it shift by six uh, steps. I'm not sure what you would call that. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is in our Reason EQ, we want to put a high pass filter, uh, hang that around, you know, somewhere around three, 320 hertz. And this is just to get the, the uh, thin it out here. See all that low end airiness down there? That's a lot of microphone resonance is what that is. And that just takes that off. You can see that in that EQ. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Nova EQ. And uh, what we're going to do is we want, really want to band pass this. So we're going to first of all limit this to one band. And then we're going to take the overall EQ gain down. Then we're going to narrow the cue, boost the frequency, oops, sorry, boost the gain, not the frequency, I'm sorry. There 
There you go. And then the last thing we're going to do is add some reverb. And some delay. There you go. So there you go. Um, that's a pretty cool tip. Now, what you would do is if you had a whole phrase or chromatic scale that you wanted to map to in an XT or, um, you know, what I like to do is bounce to a Rex file and then take, you know, um, and then map those to a Kong pad. And I like to play, you know, finger, you know, pad play parts a lot. And, um, and that works really well. So you would do all of this. You would select the clips, bounce to a new sample, convert that to a Rex file, map that to a... Um, the uh, Nano Rex uh, within a Kong, and uh, and then map all your pads to that one pad, and play by chunk, and it will work flawless. Uh, works out really well. Um, so you could do it this way: just do it in line in track, or you can map to a keyboard. It's a really simple thing to do. You could apply all any of Reason's effects here, and it basically. You know, yeah, Exhale's a really cool plugin. It's got some really cool pad textures. But quite frankly, doing this, utilizing, you know, grain synthesis along with this, uh, just wide open highway of possibilities, which is the whole point of reason, the joy of it. Um, so, so there you go. How to do formant shifted vocals for hip hop, pop, and chill. Um, and I hope you found this useful. Please leave a comment, give a like, give a share. Thanks for watching.